Hello everyone and welcome to this jQuery introductory tutorial. I decided to do a tutorials a tutorial series on jQuery because it is a very popular and lightweight cross browser compatible JavaScript library that is very useful whenever you're trying to inspect a uh, document object model elements and manipulate CSS and create effects and use Ajax this this um, JavaScript library is I think out of I think I read over out of the most popular websites of the 10,000 most popular websites I think a third of them are using jQuery so I figured it would be a good a good set of tutorials to sort of introduce you introduce you to how powerful jQuery really is. So let's get started and the first thing we're going to do is go to jQuery.com and on their home page they have a link, uh, a download link and we are going to download the production uh, the minified small version of jQuery. So I'm going to go ahead and click on download and you can see it takes us right to a JavaScript file and I'm going to say select all and copy and inside of my localhost I have created a JavaScript folder and inside that folder I have also created a jQuery file so I'm going to open that up inside Dreamweaver and you see we have a blank JavaScript file here so I'm going to go ahead and paste everything that I just copied into this JavaScript file and I'm going to save it. I've also created an index.php file um, this is going to be the page that we are going to be working with in the following tutorials um, where we edit and write some new JavaScript code uh, using the jQuery JavaScript library so first thing we're going to do is import our jQuery JavaScript into our index.php so since we put it in the JS folder and called it jQuery.js we're going to do it just like that I'm going to save that and I'm going to copy this right here and paste it underneath I'm going to take out this source because in a second we are going to write some code inside of this script block. So one of the things that is used very commonly um, even before jQuery was around was uh, JavaScript developers would use the uh, window.onload to throw in some elements into the document object model whenever the page was loaded but there's a problem with that because for instance say if you had a lot of large images or some banners or a lot of things that take time to load then it could be sort of annoying to wait for all that stuff to load before you could start to put more pieces using JavaScript into your web page so what Jake what the guys from jQuery did was they created a uh, a ready event so it basically figures out when the page is ready to be manipulated and it allows you to add some code to add some pieces to your web page using JavaScript so right now we're going to we're going to type that in and I'm going to show you what that looks like so going to say when the document is ready then we're going to call a function and type some code in so I don't know why it does that it's really weird okay so in here we're going to put some code so what this is saying is whenever your documents ready start to type some code and start to load some stuff um, so since you see we have a link right here we have an anchor element 
we're going to um, we're going to add some code that says whenever this is clicked we want to create a pop-up so we're going to say a dot click function event and we're going to want to say alert thanks for visiting Oop, forgot my quotation there okay so what this is saying is whenever we click on this anchor element it's gonna give us a pop-up before we can leave the page and once we say okay it's gonna take us away from the page so I'm gonna save this and I'm going to reload the page okay so we have this this link that we expect to see right here and we're gonna click on that and it gives us a pop-up we say okay and it takes us to the jQuery home page so that is one way that we can manipulate some document object pieces and um, there's another thing that we can type um, we can prevent the default behavior uh, by typing event dot prevent default and what that's saying is it's going to prevent um, this from actually it's going to prevent the pop-up from happening so I'm going to reload this whoops forgot to save there we go it's going to ex actually it's going to prevent the uh, so the default behavior of an anchor element is to take you away from the page it's going to prevent the default behavior of that anchor element. So it's not going to allow the anchor element to take you away from the page. So that is a brief introductory um, to jQuery. Um, in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add and remove CSS styles, how to remove uh, CSS classes. And I'm also going to show you some special effects and go over um, some different functions, some different callbacks and functions. And, um, and then we'll continue to dive deeper into jQuery. And I know this, uh, this tutorial might seem a little boring, but I'm just sort of introdu introducing you to the, the way of writing jQuery JavaScript. It's, it's really a whole new way of thinking about JavaScript. It makes writing somewhat complex code much more easier to understand and easier to write so thanks for watching and hopefully you guys are interested in jQuery and you're excited about the next tutorial and uh, I will see you in the next tutorial